Hey guys, what's going on? Max FTE here, and today I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. And I mean, as you can see, we are here in the heart of very sunny Madrid for Pokemon Go Fest. As you can see, raids, spawns, all sorts, it's just totally nuts. Best time of year is absolutely gotta be Go Fest season. Um, and we're gonna be seeing Saturday morning, we've got our park experience in the afternoon today. We're gonna be seeing what we can catch, doing quite a few raids, and hopefully getting a couple shinies. So at the moment, just as a little sort of status update, it is half 11, our park experience does start at half 2. For today, we've caught two shiny Pancham, a shiny Natu, as well as a shiny Tyrant. We did get a Nihiligo, that was yesterday however, and so um, one thing as well that we see with the research, um, the city skies is obviously for the city experience. You choose a path, obviously you speak to, I can't even remember what that dude's name is. Um, so radar tuning, I don't think this is anything that we've ever seen. Obviously with your nearby list it prioritises stuff that you don't have in the Pokedex or sort of new forms of Pokemon, but I've never seen it for actually just Pokemon in general. We are going to go for the Eevee, I mean I'm sort of hoping that we might get a couple extra encounters, however realistically in a place like this where there's so many spawns all over the place so many stops we're not really going to be tracking stuff down on the nearby we will go for that though catch six eevee wearing a sun crown or moon crown change a fur fruit's trim and three hearts with our buddy pretty simple enough um, and a couple other tasks as well three gifts to friends it's generally all sort of crabrawler checks helioptile nope Something new as well that we do have for GoFest, obviously it did sort of debut in Sendai a couple of weeks ago but it's the first time I've had it, Necrozma appearing here in GoFest Madrid. I'm gonna jump in here, hopefully get a shiny. So not that it even sort of matters in the slightest in a place like this, just because lobbies fill to 20 instantly. Necrozma is a psychic type so you are gonna be wanting to use dark types, ghost types or bug types but like I say, in a place like Madrid you don't even need to think about what you're using. Like I say, just because 20 people instantly. Necrozma is actually quite good. Well, I say Necrozma on its own isn't really that good. When you fuse it with the, when you get the Duskmane form or the Dawn Wings form, it's actually really good. Um, the one that you fuse with Solgaleo, I think it actually becomes a, either top, it's a top three steel type attacker, I'm sure. And the one that you fuse with Lunala, I'm pretty sure it is the best type ghost attacker. I'm not 100% sure. I do know that they are really good though. They will actually be quite good for Master League as well. Three, two, one. Nope. White screen, no, <laughs> no shiny. So another thing as well that I completely didn't know about was that with the fur throws, we can actually change and get the Japanese form. Uh, ka Kabuki, I'm probably butchering that name. I. This totally sprung up on me. I didn't even realise it until yesterday as I was actually here in Madrid. Um, I don't know if in Japan they were able to change to get a different form that they usually have. Either way, we've done that. We'll keep that as that'll be sort of a nice sort of trade bait for people back home. Umbreon, no shiny. Oh, so many spawns, it's just crazy. It's, 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 sometimes can be a bit, little overwhelming with all the spawns. Check all these phantom. I really need another phantom. I managed to get one, but... Tyrant as well. Uh, Espeon as well on the lure. Give that a quick check. No shiny. Either way, right, so we'll claim this task that we had. Two poffins for um, changing the trim, which is actually quite decent, considering it's just so easy. check in here we're in one of the parks obviously this isn't the park where we actually have the experience the go fest experience it's just a big park there's a lot of spawns we've actually had pretty bad luck with shinies to be honest with you we obviously got the couple before we started recording not actually had any since then checking everything here <laughs> it doesn't actually look like there's anything but again you can see on the map here this just sort of gives you an idea of what to expect if you were to ever come to one of these events. The amount of spawns, the amount of stops, the amount of everything pretty much. Um, I think I've checked most things. Most things that I sort of 
I'm not bothered about. Nose pass, I'm not that bothered about. Had too many of them. And um, ferro seed, maybe? No. Yeah, looking like no shinies. Amora, maybe? No, no shinies. It is absolutely roasting here. Being from Scotland, this is like 10, 15 degrees hotter than what we're used to. This water, although it doesn't look the bluest, it just would be so nice to jump in. Still no shinies as well. We'll update if we get anything. And look who we have here. Found, okay, father. <laughs> found in Madrid. Lost and <laughs> We have found the old man. No shinies, actually six so far. <laughs> We're on four each, no, I'm but five now. Five now. I haven't had any shinies for a long time, but anyway, but enough talking to you. I'm gonna take a picture of that nice thing over there. <laughs> I don't know what. So after what has probably been close to hours, finally got a shiny, shiny Tortuga. This is my second one, uh, so I'm happy with that. If I actually catch it, nearly ran away there. So caught here, quick IV check. Not gonna be good IVs, but doesn't matter. Shiny's a shiny. So our luck might finally be starting to change. Shiny Nilego here, from a raid obviously. I didn't actually catch the CP, I wanna say 2578 or something. Hopefully, decent. Already had a couple of these, so not a shiny I was actually after. Uh, make sure it's silver pinup. Do have the background as well, which is quite nice. 11, 15, 15. Pretty decent. We'll keep that. Make sure to favourite that as well for having the background. Nice souvenir to keep. Picking things up here with a shiny pan charm. <clears throat> had a couple of these today already. Caught. Pan cham, gonna be a cool one just because you know it's normally in eggs, so seeing it out in the wild is actually sort of funny to see. Licky licky as well, that's not something you see in the wild often. But yeah, had a couple pan chams, so not actually needed, but again, grateful to get it. Shiny's a shiny, and just check everything here no shinies. Wait for the metro actually, shiny Eevee with the sunflower crown. This is one that we've been wanting, obviously a costume shiny, so it'll be pretty rare afterwards. And not the greatest IVs, not able to evolve with that, so we don't have to worry about you know catching all of them to be able to get all of the evolutions. So, nice. Finishing up with the research as well, something as well that we've not seen before, an encounter with Sol Galeo. I did actually pick that for the research, went down that path, you can just attempt to catch it here. Hopefully soon we'll be able to get energy to actually fuse our Necrozma with the Sol Galeo. Again, going to be a very good steel type attacker. Plus as well, fun for the Master League. And it does actually have the background as well, which is really cool. Crap by V. Pikachu and Eevee meet and greet if that's something that you want to do. <laughs> Found a clef key here. Something that only spawns in France and the very south of England. Not actually going to be Pokedex, because I think I've actually go plus quite a few of them during the day. And also... Not a very useful Pokemon, if it's going to be a good IV though, no. Extra small as well, it's not even going to be good in showcases if for some reason we get a Clef Key showcase. So as you can see, looking at the game here, that is the event finally started for us. In the park, it's just completely mental spawns, honestly, honestly a wee bit overwhelming. Um, just trying to figure out what to actually click on. Uh, we'll check a couple things here, we're just outside the food trucks, did get a wee bit of food before the event started. Um, got a hot dog and some Fanta lemon, perfect fuel for the day. Um, Lunatone, not shiny. Uh, nose pass, not shiny. Uh, Lapras, not shiny. That would be a really nice one to get. Any of the costume shinies, to be honest. I mean, obviously, I did get my Eevee earlier. Check the Tortuga. It's just, there's just so many spawns. Like, there's not even enough time to click everything. See all the videos as well of people using Spatial Rend as well, like, doubling their spawns. I don't even know how you've got enough uh, <laughs> time to check everything. It's just mental. Um, but yeah, we're gonna jump straight into the event, see how we get on. It's not exactly the most exciting Pokemon. Shiny Skarmory though. Got about 50 of these probably. 143 CP, pretty bad IVs. 
quick progress update for in terms of research we've still got the Madrid City Skies to do but I mean we've got all day tomorrow as well to do that uh, Madrid Park we've still got to go to the Cursed Forest spin five stops and we are also gonna have to take a photo of a Pokemon that we've caught um, and that will get us one step closer to catching our Marshadow. Time is 4.08, we're currently at 15 shinies for the day, 16 actually with that Skarmory. One more shiny Voltorb. Did get quite a lot of these at the Sinnoh, was it Sinnoh Tour? I can't remember. Either way, the tour earlier this year got on plenty of them, so don't actually need it. IVs are not bad PvP IVs, so maybe something fun to use at some point. Get a couple shiny checks in here. Mana, nope. So status report is currently 5.35, I think it's, what is it, half seven it finishes? Seven o'clock, I can't quite remember. Either way, shiny check, we are up to 6, 12, 15, 18, 19 for today, which isn't that bad. I have actually go plus quite a lot. Of all the ones that like I've not shown you, it's just been go plus. Just been doing a lot of raids and they've ended up getting go plus. But I didn't actually realize it was gonna happen this quickly. If you take a look in here, this is gonna be actually our encounter with Marshadow, the mythical Pokemon for this season's go fests. Um, fingers crossed for a good one. I think it's got quite a good, it's got quite a unique move set. <laughs> Alolan Executor appears first, what on earth? Um, <clears throat> got quite a unique moveset. I don't think it's going to be any good for raids. I think it could actually be quite good for Master League. But I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Let's see. The classic three throws on the mythical before it catches. <clears throat> what did you get? Another shiny crab roller. So that's me got two. Up to two crab rollers. <laughs> More shadow going into the Pokedex here. Turn that back round. 1550, I think that is really bad. That is. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> 11, 12, 11. Great. We're certainly not going to be putting any rare XL into that thing. <sighs> yeah, we've got a much better one here. 15, 12, 14? I can't remember. Uh, 15, 15, 13, 12. Either way, our one is garbage, so that will not be getting powered up. Um, have a quick transfer here, have a quick check as well on the Lapras and Pikachu. Been clicking on most of them today and not had much luck, unfortunately. Lapras, no shiny, as well as... Ooh, another one here. Ooh. Ah, Tortuga shiny. Yeah, no shinies there. Quick check on the Pancham, and I will report in next time we get something decent. So I don't actually want to go back out and back in to show the actual tiny animation just because it's from a task but we've got a tiny shiny throw. Actually I forget I can do this with AR uh, if it doesn't crash, hopefully. Tiny shiny throw. Quite good as well, we don't have a uh, throw in Scotland so that'll be one to flex in the gyms. Unfortunately it's not huge, I'm not going to be able to win any showcases with it. Um, See any good ideas? Could be a IV. Sorry, could be a Shundo. No, nowhere near it. Either way, though, tiny shiny is pretty neat. It's up to six o'clock now, but shiny unknown A, first unknown of the event, which will take it. I think I do actually have an unknown A already. Shiny's a shiny. Yes, shiny unknown A. Not the greatest IVs. Check some more while we're here. So I don't know if it's just been me, but it actually feels like there's during the unknown minutes, there's not actually been as many unknowns as previous events. Uh, again, might just be sort of the luck that I've been having, but it definitely feels like there's slightly less. But happy with a shiny, uh, happy to get one. The real life gym goes whatever colour the gym is in game. So upon claiming this research, we've just finished three trades, we can claim these, and if I'm not mistaken, 
10 Marshadow XL candy, one rare candy XL, and the Alola greeting pose. I think that's actually us finished in terms of GoFest tasks. I mean, we've just finished all of the all of the collection challenges in the different habitats in the park, and yeah, that's us pretty much finished actually. We'll go and put our oh, we've got, actually got party challenge finishes. Um, we'll go for nice throws, nice and simple. And so we'll go equip our new pose, give that a look. I actually saw quite a few people wearing the pose, but I wasn't sure um, where they'd gotten it from. But now we know, exclusive GoFest pose until it comes out with the global GoFest. However, we will put that on just now, but yeah. So having a look in here at this Necrozma, my game did actually crash, so it's gonna go straight to the encounter screen. Might be a shiny, no shiny. However, 2099, that is going to be 98%. I'm hoping it's actually going to be 15 attack. We will find out. I'm sure it would be, because 2104, that's pretty close in CP. Just got to pray that we actually catch it now, because no friends in that raid, so didn't actually get any best friend balls. Excellent throw, though. Fairly mashing out these excellent throws, though. Oh, here we go, caught. So we will have a check in here maybe it's gonna even have the background as well no unfortunately no background but 15 15 14 beautiful if I don't get a better one that's probably gonna be the one that I fuse in my soul glare but nice so that is day one of go fest come to a close Having a look here at our final shiny count for day one, if we go shiny, age zero, 27 shinies, <laughs> it's funny, that's actually quite a lot more than I thought it was. Playing, it didn't feel like there was a huge amount, maybe just because I go plus a lot of them. However, I think my favourite one that I got, uh, the unknowns are always quite good to get. Wasn't very happy with the three Skarmories, I've had too many of them in the past. Um, Phantom probably, Phantom's probably a really good one, as well as... Pan charms that I got, they're also, I've had one of them before so I can evolve that now. Eevee with a hat probably though, that's, I think I'm going to put that down as my highlight of the day. Really good. As well as getting my, if I can find it here, 9 to 8 Necrozma, that's going to be, that's really good, that's probably going to be the one that I end up fusing with my Sol Galeo. I want to hold off a little bit though, I've got a couple special trades lined up, well lucky trades lined up so I might hold off just in case I do managed to get a hundo or a even better shiny one but yeah we will see how was your first go fest i loved it loved every minute good first go fest thought no not first go fest uh six six go fest six go fest thoughts pretty good actually um Quite a few shinies that I, well, actually high percentage of shinies that I needed that I wanted. F Feramosa. Feramosa. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got Fer 27. 27. 27 shinies. How many? Not counted them yet. My highlight was. Mm, Espeon. It's weird, it does that with the flicker with the. Phone screens. Screen, phone screen. What was your highlight? I think my highlight must have been the double shiny Oricorio. Definitely a good one. Mm -hmm. A good two. A good two. <laughs> Definitely a couple that I didn't get that I would have liked, but we've still got the city experience tomorrow, so we'll see what we can rustle up from that. We're still looking for the two Oricorios. I would obviously prefer to get the, I, don't, I can't remember what it's actually called, the, the pink Oricorio anyway, just because we've still got the red red and black one at home. Um, Umbreon and Espeon would be quite nice, but again, I see they're, they're pretty rare. Pikachus as well would be nice, but I'm not holding out for it. So at the moment, uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy, leave a dislike. Let me know why in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace.